Welcome to the Science with Attitude SWAT presentation for Know and Show Sombrero. Students create their own wearable hat and then they personalize it with decorations that symbolize plant growing requirements. Hi everybody, I'm Kim. And I'm Catherine. And today we're demonstrating SWAT's Know and Show Sombrero activity. It takes about 45 minutes and it's geared for ages 3rd through 5th grade. As with all the SWAT kits, the Know and Show Sombrero kit comes with a notebook that has inventory checklists, detailed lesson plans, supplemental activities and ideas, as well as evaluation forms for the instructor to fill out at the end of the activity. So Catherine, are you ready to begin? I'm ready. Alrighty, well the first thing we're going to do is review what plants need to live. Catherine, can you help us remember what plants need to live? I think I can. The first thing plants need to live is a place to live. P, correct. The next thing they would need would be light. Light, L. Plants also need air. A. A. Plants would need nutrition. N. I'd say plants get thirsty, so they need water. T for thirsty, but you're right, it's water. And then plants need soil. Correct. Now, Catherine, if we were doing this with a group of children in a classroom or another instructional setting, the instructor would probably want the children to raise their hand, naming the things that they know that plants need to live, and it doesn't have to go in the order um, that we have the folders. Each time a child says one of the things the plant needs to live, the instructor can hand that to the children and have them come to the front of the room, and by the end, they will have spelled out the word plant. Each one of the folders has inside what plants need to live and why that is important. So, are we ready to begin? Let's start. Well, today we're going to make a sombrero. Fun. And it's going to fit on the head, and it's going to remind you of all the things that plants need to live. So the first thing you're going to need is the items in the kit, and the kit has everything included. There will be newspaper, there will be baggies full of different kinds of art supplies like pipe cleaners, pom-poms, lots of different shaped stickers, baggies full of plant type of stickers, and little fruit and vegetable stickers, and many, many more. What the instructor can do is use what's in the kit and also supplement other things from the classroom. So everything is in the kit. Now, one thing the instructor might want to do is make sure there's enough newspaper. That might need to be supplemented with more depending on the size of the group. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you do is take about two sheets of note. Uh, the first thing you do is take about two sheets of newspaper and lay them out on the table. And you can either lay it like this or like this. And the sheets of paper do not have to be exactly the same size as long as it looks. So I'm going to go ahead and put ours like this. And the first thing we need to do after that is we're going to take some tape and I'm going to need your help. So if you'll hold the tape like this for me, Catherine, we're going to first make sure that your sombrero fits your head. That's so what we're, oh, yes it is. So what we're going to do is put the paper over your head. Are you okay? I'm good. And then you put your hand right there. Very good. Now I'm going to take the tape. You take your other hand. And don't be afraid. Put your hand right there in front of your eyes. There you go. And I'm going to do this. Now you can move your hand. You can move this hand. There you go. And I'm going to go all the way around. All right, Catherine, you can take that off your head now. You okay? I'm good. The next thing that we, right now we have a hat that fits your head. It's just going to fit your head and no one else's. A custom fit. It is a custom fit. The next thing we need to do though is make it into sombrero because right now it doesn't look like a sombrero. And what you will do is fold up the ends and you can actually make it take any shape you 
one. So the first thing we do is bend it out, and then you simply fold the sides in, going around and gathering as you go. Now, instructors, sometimes the children are going to need help with this depending upon their own uh, hand eye coordination and motor skills. And if it is okay to add a little extra tape to help it hold its shape. So Catherine, I got it started for you. Do you want to finish that? Sure. Okay, how's that? Great job, Catherine. Why don't you try it on and see if it fits? Let's see. That is a great sombrero, Catherine. Now, by itself, that's a fun project. But in order for us to learn about plants, what we're going to do next is let you decorate it with different things that help you remember what plants need to live. So why don't you go ahead and decorate your sombrero any way you want. Fun, fun, fun. Well, I like the pretty flowers. So I think I'm going to use some of those. And that helps remind me of a lot of things plants need just because I like flowers and I remember flowers need light and they need water and they need soil and everything that we talked about earlier. Very good. Plus they're pretty. Since they need water, do you want to put a water drop on there? Yeah, that's a great idea. There you go. Okay, we'll put the water drop here like it's coming from the sky. Very good. Catherine, that's a beautiful sombrero. Now, it not only teaches you what plants need to live, but one of the things you said that plants need is light. Plants need light to live and so do we, but we also know that the sun can be harmful and we should protect ourselves by using sunscreen and hats when we go out. So not only have you made something that's going to remind you what plants need to live, but you've got something that's going to help protect you from the sun. You want to try it on again? I'd love to try it on again. And I decorated it on the side, so you'll have to look at it from that angle. Very good, Catherine. I think you've learned a lot today. I did learn a lot today. And it was good to remember what plants need to live. I agree. Not only that, Catherine, but we've got other SWAT kits available that help us not only learn about plants, but all kinds of things in nature. We would like to remind the instructors that when you're finished with the kit, there is an inventory chart either at the beginning of the kit or at the end that will remind you what to put back in and to let us know if there's anything we need to refill. There are also evaluation forms to fill out at the end of the activity. So check out this kit and all of the other great activities we have for SWAT at DCMGA.com. And we'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody.